Next challenge of the project is to get a no turn washer that's going to work. Now the bike I'm going to use has very shallow vertical dropouts. So this is the shallow dropout that the bike frame has and this is a no turn washer that would be used with a dropout but that's obviously not going to work. And because it has dropouts it's going to use these axle adapters which are meant to fit like that. Fortunately the bike does have disc brakes and so can use a no turn washer such as this. Unfortunately this is the only one they provide and it's meant for through axles and so I'm going to have to see if I can modify it. Hopefully if it's not hardened I can drill and file out this centre part to the same diameter hole as that for this axle adapter. If not, I will be making a new one. Some of you may have spotted that actually you can buy these with the axle integrated into it, a bit like that, but apparently that is a really bad idea to use one of those, and after thinking about it, I realised why, and it's because the way MVOLO hubs mount this, it's not designed, this mount here, to take an axle on the end of it. It's designed for the axle to go through such as that. Well, it doesn't appear to be hardened, so I just need to work away at it with increasingly larger drill bits and eventually a file, and it should be good. to drill out now. Well, I think that's pretty much it for that one. That's 14 mil drill bit. I'm going to do the rest of the file. Well, I took a bit of filing, but I now have a unique no-turn washer. I've left a little bit of this edge on here to engage with this, and it's going to work with this axle nicely. So I'm going to give it a quick coat of spray paint just to smarten it up, and uh, that should work, hopefully. I'll give it a try on the bike. So that's the no-turn washer, or axle plate, installed on the hub. And now it's time to see if it will fit. So the idea of this type is it engages with the disc brake mount. And install like that. And that's perfect. So because I want to know the answer to this question and see proof of it, will the torque pull the axle out of the dropout? Well, in underdrive, and that's when there'll be most torque transferred through the hub, it will actually pull the axle into the dropout. So if I crank on the pedals, you can see it pulls it in. You can also see if I disengage it and crank it, it wants to turn that way. In overdrive, it will be the opposite. It will want to torque it around the other way, but due to the high RPM, the torque will be almost insignificant in comparison to an underdrive when you're cranking hard up a hill, for example. So that completes this part of the project. The bike will now be rideable, although as a single speed until I get the shifting up and running. Well, it'll be sort of like a two speed because I've still got the chain rings and we'll be keeping those. So that completes this video. Thank you for watching.